Hello again. This is uh, how to make a solar panel, part two. It's a continuation of part one. Part one, we put together uh, sets of three six by six solar cells. And now here I'm connecting those sets of three together to make four sets of nine. Uh, here's a short demonstration of how to solder the tabs on the uh, back of the solar panels together. This is a flux pin. I've already uh, taken a wire brush and cleaned these points, uh, these little pads. There's six of them on the back in the first video. I'm using a uh, uh, flux pin it's got a little felt tip on it to uh, put a little bit of flux on each of these little solder tabs. And then uh, <clears throat> using a 40 watt soldering iron and a small screwdriver, I hold down the tabbing wire, which already has solder on it, and just heat it up to where you see some the wire turned to liquid, turned to silver, and it will stick to that uh, those pads. This is actually the bottom side, that's the positive side of the solar cells. <coughs> so I'm making a string of nine cells, and I'll have four of these strings, and then the strings need to be laid down uh, opposite of each other. So all the cells will be hooked together in series. And so uh, I'll use a, a wider tabbing wire called a bus wire to connect the different rows together. And we'll see that in just a little bit. This panel when it's done will make about 20 volts I had 19.9 when I had it all finished in, in sunlight. <coughs> and it should put out about 5, 6 amps. And uh, I'll hook that to some golf cart batteries. I've got two of these panels on the roof now. And I'm making two more, but I won't be actually putting them up until the spring. Because I plan on going to Florida for the winter. Okay, there's a shot of the four rows of cells. I just put them on a piece of uh, eighth inch plywood and I take a little uh, plastic pieces that, to hold it down to this until I'm ready to put it in the frame. There you can see the uh, bus wire and you can see there's two rows connected together the two outside rows are connected together and then on the other end the outside rows come together and form your positive and negative negative. Then the two center rows are connected together okay see how the two center rows are connected together <coughs> and then I have a small uh, 10 amp uh, diode so the battery doesn't discharge into the solar panel. I buy these solar cells from a fellow on eBay from Michigan. Fred Volt is his username. And uh, these panel, these cells come from Germany and uh, pretty nice panels. Here inside with just some uh, lights on, I'm getting 16 and a half volts. Okay, here's the vinyl frame that I use. Uh, my sister's husband has a window factory and <coughs> he makes these frames for me. And uh, there's a piece of glass, just clear glass, on the bottom of this frame. Then there's a half inch spacer. Then we'll put tempered glass on top so in case we have hail it won't break the glass. It's more expensive but I think it's worth it. 
Here we're measuring and marking on the bottom glass where the solder tabs go. Here's the junction box that I've fastened onto it. There's the uh, wiring. Sort of a poor, crappy solder job there, but I think it'll hold. Here we're putting the string of 100% silicone, clear silicone down, right where the, the solder joints are. And then we'll lay the uh, solar cells on top. What we do, we take the piece of wood and lay it on top of the uh, frame and then takes two people and one person pulls the uh, frame, the, the wood, and then the other one holds the cells in place and just lays them right in there. Then we just gently go down through there and uh, press the cells into the silicone. And uh, there's the uh, finished panel. And here they're putting the tempered glass in. Uh, they have these suction cups that uh, they can just pick up a piece of glass with that. It's pretty handy. We're not sealing the uh, glass in. There's some uh, <coughs> tape that we could pull off of that divider in there that would actually seal that in there. But in case we need to uh, repair the panels, we can take this top glass back off again. Just remove these strips. We just knock them in there, but they can be pulled back out again. And uh, one thing I like about using the vinyl, it uh, it's not metal, so you don't have to ground it for lightning, because there's nothing, no exposed uh, metal that lightning can hit. I use conduit and a box, a plastic box, to run my wires through. I use a 10-2 uh, uh, wire, solid wire to run to the breaker box in the house. And uh, I'm getting ready to build another one of these and I'll have two of these panels and I'll hook them together for 24 volts. Here we're in the sunshine and we're doing 19.4 volts. So anything over 18 volts is, uh, is a pretty good deal. So. Thanks for watching. Here's the uh, mounting iron that I used to mount it then.